Hello and welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different than the usual ones. I'm going to walk you through how I debugged what looked to be an impossible bug and how I ended up finding the uh, minimal case at the bottom of it. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. First, I wanted to show you the actual bug report itself. Uh, the original poster did an exceptionally good job in reporting this bug. Um, and I'm going to walk you through the, th the parts of it that I'm really happy about. First, they started with a Docker file. This made it really easy to validate that, uh, in fact, what they were saying, which looks impossible, terribly hard, <laughs> install a Google library and suddenly your CSS compiler is broken. Like, it just seems wild. Um, but they very helpfully included a Docker file. That way it was really easy to reproduce. Uh, I could just run the Docker file and validate the output. Uh, they showed the expected behavior and what was happening. So it was very easy to see what was wrong. And uh, you know, overall, just did a really great job reporting this bug. Uh, now, they didn't dig into the details, and I don't blame them for that. Uh, but I did, and I found some very interesting things. All right, so I'm going to walk you through just how I figured out this problem. Uh, I, of course, did this a couple days ago. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the same procedure that I used to figure out where this came from. The first thing that I wanted to do is do this outside of Docker. Uh, while Docker is convenient for reproducing problems, uh, it doesn't have your nice dev tools, and so it can be a little bit of a pain to debug. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that it still reproduces outside of Docker, uh, eliminate that as a, I mean, it's very unlikely that Docker is the, is the problem here. Uh, I wanted to eliminate that, but also be able to poke around with whatever developer tools that I wanted. Um, so I go, went ahead and installed these two libraries, and I set up the environment that they had, which, oops, I didn't mean to copy the whole blog. Fine, oh, I copied incorrectly. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> copy, paste, and then I'm just gonna get bad.py since we don't, you know, I can show you that commenting things out uh, will work properly. If we look at bad.py, oh yeah. <laughs> so Docker has a different interpretation of um, backslashes in that it kills them, uh, but the shell includes them, so I had to get rid of those there. Okay, anyway, if we run bad.py now and we, uh, cat star.css, which is our output, you'll see that this is the broken behavior. And if we comment out this one import, that gets us back to the working behavior. So it's something about this import that causes things to go wrong. And so that was, that was kind of my, my first uh, inclination here. And so I wanted to figure out just what about this import is causing things to go haywire. Uh, with a nice little reproduction here, I can run this and I can look at the CSS output. Um, in fact, we'll probably do ampersand ampersand just to uh, make sure it runs successfully. I now have something that I can iterate on and make sure that things are either in a good state or in a broken state. Okay, from there, I wanted to uh, figure out what's going on with this Google Cloud Profiler import. So I went to edit my virtual environment, which it's a virtual environment, so I can blow it away and bring it back in any uh, point in time. Uh, and it was Google Cloud Profiler. Okay, so when you import Google Cloud Profiler, the first thing that's going to happen is this init.py file is going to load. Now there's some code in here, uh, and so I wanted to start eliminating code to see what could be the problem. Um, the first thing that I did was just to take everything after these imports here and eliminate that. So I just commented that out, and I went to run my reproduction again, and it's still broken. Okay, so we know we, know we don't need all this commented out code to reproduce the problem. Let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. Now uh, we have a few other imports here. Let's try and comment some of those out. So I usually like to do about half at a time. So, well, that's three at a time. So, uh, okay, it's still broken. So we know that this client import is the next place to look for where our problem is. Uh, we know the rest of this isn't you know, relevant. So we could delete this if we wanna get it minimal as well. And we'll see, still failing, cool, great. Uh, let's look at this client file next. Okay, we open up client.py. And we see a bunch of imports, and then more imports, and then a bunch of code. I'm going to try the same thing as last time and just comment out the code first. So if we grab this and comment it out, that should get us just imports at the top. Let's see if it's still broken. Good. OK, still broken. So we don't need any of this code. Uh, let's comment out half our imports again. So let's do from here downwards, comment those out, and run it. Oh, and it's working again. Okay, so that means that somewhere inside the commented out stuff is our problem. Uh, so let's 
uncomment this and let's comment the other direction. Get rid of all of this up here just to make sure that we're bisecting properly. Oh, and we apparently, <laughs> we broke it a different way. We need the sys module. Uh, and then if we run this, okay, it's still broken. Cool, so we can get rid of all of this code. All right, so somewhere in here, there's something going on. Uh, I'm gonna try commenting out these half of imports. And I basically just repeated this process. Okay, those are fine, we get rid of those. I wonder what this CPU profiler thing is. I bet it's this. So let's comment that out. We'll put a little pass here instead. And it's working again. Okay, so that tells me that it's probably just this. Uh, that is probably our minimal here. Yep, okay, we're back to broken again. Uh, I can now take this back to the init.py file. We can skip this whole client file entirely, and that should now reproduce our problem the same. And it does. Okay, what is this CPU profiler thing? Let's look at that next. CPU profiler.py. Uh, again, start by commenting out all the code. Still reproduces. Okay, let's delete everything else. Um, I'm guessing that it's this under, well, <laughs> I know that it's this underscore profiler, uh, but I would go through and comment all these out and see, okay, it's still broken. And now we have to look at this thing and we can actually put this in init.py. We're of course breaking the library subtly as we go, but we're mostly trying to figure out what is our minimal case that causes this to fail. Okay, underscore profiler, what is that? It is a C extension. Oh no, so we can't just edit the code here. We have to try some other way to reproduce this because uh, we probably have to pick apart this shared object and figure out just what about it uh, makes it break. So the next thing that I did, uh, now that I've narrowed it down to the C extension, is to figure out what I can change about that C extension. Uh, Google Cloud Profiler GitHub. So I'm gonna get the code for it and looks like it is this repo here. And uh, we can get clone depth equals one, this. And now uh, we have to change our reproduction a little bit because we have to install our local copy of Google Cloud Profiler. So I am going to do pip uninstall dash yqq this. That'll uninstall the library. And then we're gonna pip install the local version of it. Uh, where did I clone that? Uh, Cloud Profiler Python, not Google. Cloud Profiler Python. Uh, and then we're gonna run this. Oh, another thing that I know that I need to do is I need to delete the, the build directory out of this, I actually spent a lot of time, or I wasted a lot of time uh, on this build directory hanging out from previous compilation artifacts. Um, but this will allow us to uninstall whatever version we have, reinstall and rebuild the C extension, and then run our reproduction again. It's gonna be a little bit more output than before. Um, I can actually set no depth so that it's a little bit faster too. Let's actually do that. Pip install no depths, uh, and that way it'll just uninstall, reinstall Google Cloud Profiler, and we'll get our output here. Okay, cool, so we're still reproducing with the local copy. We can now start editing that uh, C extension. And if we look at the code here, Google Cloud Profiler, I happen to remember it lives in source, and there's a bunch of C++ files. And so like before, uh, I wanted to start by eliminating code as much as possible. So I open up this profiler.c and um, I'll just tell you that uh, if we delete this method here, that's completely fine. That just means that the module will provide no methods and I can actually delete this code uh, implementing that method and that should simplify things a little bit. Uh, it also means that this module now no longer does any actual code. Uh, so if we just build the Know what module, does it reproduce the problem? Yes, so it's still something about these C++ files. Uh, what I ended up finding is uh, by eliminating the rest of the C++ files, I did that by doing, uh, changing this glob here, because this is just pull in all C++ files. And you know, if one of them is empty, then the rest of them I could delete them one at a time. Uh, I'll cut to the chase. If I eliminated this file here, source uh, profiler.cc, uh, eliminating this file at all was able to make the problem go away. And in fact, I was able to bring the problem back just by putting iostream inside of, well, I, let me show you if I remove all the files. So that is, um, 
that would uh, actually show what I'm trying to show. Profiler.cc. And if we run this now, you'll see that it should succeed. We get one, two, three. Cool. Uh, if I open up uh, profiler.cc and I put include iostream at the top, that is enough to break this. And so if we run it again, see that we have broken it again. So I skipped a few steps, but importing something from the C++ standard library was enough to break the other C extension. And so I got to thinking, okay, that's weird. I've definitely worked with C++ extensions before in Python. I've installed two of them and they've worked fine. There's been nothing weird about that. Uh, so what's different about Google Cloud, Crowd, uh, Google Cloud Profiler's uh, C extension? And so I opened up setup.py, I looked at extension, and well, the first part of this is pretty normal. Uh, this is pretty normal. This is not normal. Uh, static linking lib C++ usually only works if you control all of the sources inside of an executable. And of course, in a dynamically linked library, uh, you probably don't want several copies of lib standard C++ hanging out. So my next thought was, uh, oh, are we in the broken state right now? Yeah, we're in the broken state right now. My next thought was, maybe this is the problem. So let's comment that out and see if it breaks. And sure enough, uh, it is now back to working. And so this is kind of the, the, the root cause of this. So basically what's happening here is uh, Google's C extension links in lib standard C++. So it has all of the current uh, C++ symbols available. And by default, they're global. And so any other C++ extension will get its lib standard C++ from this. And if it was compiled against a slightly different version of lib standard C++, all bets are off on runtime behavior. I'm actually really surprised that it didn't just segfault or crash or explode more spectacularly. All it did was you know, remove some file IO. Um, but usually when, you, usually when you're dealing with multiple symbol versions, all bets are off on them succeeding. Um, so anyway, this little flag can break other C++ extensions. And that's what I learned from this. And that's kind of how I debugged this. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the fix is hopefully for Google to remove this line and probably this line too. Um, static linking libgcc and lib standard C++ is unnecessary in Python extensions because, um, because many Linux says that they will be available on the platform. And so even if you were to do this to distribute a, a statically linked binary, you're going to break other stuff and you don't need it. So anyway, hopefully you found this interesting and I'll see you in the next one.